In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this neomorphic UI design slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created this background completely in PowerPoint with some bubbles. And then you can see here the bubbles which is behind these boxes looks like a kind of a blur effect. And then you can give uh, two options here, the right options. You can continue and the wrong options uh, try again. So this is completely editable slide. You can just change the text as per your need. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide then right mouse click go to the format background and I'm going to insert a gradient fill. For the gradient fill I'm going to use this two color. For that just select the gradient fill so by default these two colors already been added in the past so that's the reason it is coming here so you can just select the two one stop and then choose this color and then you can choose the second stop with this color and then you can just change the direction the way you want okay for example i'm going to select this one all right so once this is done the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to insert uh, some uh, oval shapes here so go to insert shapes and I'm going to select some oval shape draw a big oval shape by holding the shift key okay shape outline make it no outline shape fill I'm going to use this blue color or I can just use the eyedropper and select this blue color all right and then I'm going to make it somewhat transparent maybe 30 percent transparent I'm going to make and then go to the effects under the soft edges increase the size here all right you can see here increase it so it looks something like this and then hold the shift key you can increase also so i'm just going to add one shade here then press ctrl d to duplicate this one and now i'm going to fill this color with white all right and put it here you can just increase the size also if you want so it looks something like this all right so i can make it more transparent also if depending on the requirement and then I'm going to insert one more uh, rectangle here. All right, again, one more big rectangle. Again, shape outline, make it no outline. Again, shape fill. I'm going to use the same blue color and I can just make it a transparent and then go to the effects. Again, increase the soft edges here. So you can see here, I'm going to increase it and tilt a little bit and put it here like this. You can see here. All right. So once this is done, it doesn't matter, for example, if it is going outside, not a problem because when you do a slideshow, that, that will not be visible, okay? So maybe I can reduce the size a little bit and I can make it more transparent, all right? All right. Then go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose two rectangles, draw a rectangle where I'm going to make the height as 4.5 and width as four and you can see the small orange point just drag this outside a little bit like this okay shape outline i'm going to give a gradient color for this one so in that case you have to go to the line instead of solid line select the gradient line so i'm going to choose two uh, gradient stops here and two i'm going to delete it the one stop i'm going to give white color and the other stop i'm going to give a kind of this turquoise or teal color okay so it looks something like this and the shape fill i'm going to fill this with white gradient okay again i'm going to select the gradient fill here and then i'm going to choose both the colors as white why i'm choosing both colors white because one uh, this uh, gradient stop i'm going to make it transparent so you can see here transparent and then you can change the direction okay i want this look something like this and here also i'm going to make it somewhat transparent okay so my box will look a kind of a blur all right if you want to just change the direction you can come here and change the direction the way you want whichever direction you feel okay and if you want to add some more again you can just click add one more and put it white okay and then i'm going to make it somewhat transparent and let's change the direction here okay so let it be like this 
and then I'm going to hold the shift key and I'm going to add one more towards the right hold the control shift key and add it so you can see here I have added these two uh, boxes now rectangles then go to insert shapes I'm going to select the oval shape draw a oval shape by holding the shift key again shape outline make it no outline and I'm going to select the gradient fill here gradient fill I'm going to fill this with two colors so one color which I'm going to choose uh, this one okay the teal color sorry let me just do it again okay and the other color I'm going to use the this one orange color so you can see here I've got this two color combination and again how much orange you need and how much uh, teal color you need you can just align this one all right so once this is done the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to send the send this to back of this shape okay so just send to back now the thing is uh, when you see a neomorphic design the one the object which is behind this one it will be much more blurred so what I'm going to do is pay attention to it so I'm going to select both of these shapes press ctrl D to duplicate move it aside now I'm going to select only this shape first the oval shape hold the shift key select this one go to the merge shape and I'm going to intersect okay intersect I'm going to make this as a soft edges okay you can see here I'm going to make it a soft edges hold the shift key increase the size a little bit and bring it here you can see here I can increase further so it looks like it is blurred here if you want you can blur further and increase the size a little bit more so it looks like kind of a blur here you can see here and again select this one and bring to front so you can see here actually there are two objects so but uh, here it looks kind of a blur effect we have given to it and here there is no blur effect okay so this is how we have to do for the other objects as well all right so now I can just select this one press ctrl D and I can make all this as a blur object here okay so I'm going to increase the soft adjust hold the shift key reduce the size and I'm going to send this to back okay so this is fully blurred and I'm going to add one more press ctrl D to duplicate here I'm going to use a blue color combination dark blue you can see here all right and I'm going to place this in between of these two boxes so I'm just going to send this to back but as again I'm going to use the same technique where I would like this this whatever the the objects behind this one should be more blurred okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these three objects press ctrl D to duplicate move it aside now I'm going to select the oval shape hold the shift key select this one merge shape subtract again hold the shift key select this rectangle merge shape and subtract so I end up getting a shape which looks something like this and this one I'm going to make it again blur make it full full blur and increase the size a little bit so you can see here it is all blurred now I'm going to put this one here so you can see here only this is looking blurred but here outside it's not looking blurred all right and then I'm going to select this one press ctrl D I'm going to remove the blur effect here the soft edges and I'm going to give some white both white you can see here and then I will give somewhat transparent look for this and here also I'm going to make it somewhat transparent hold the shift key reduce the size and I'm going to add one more here and send this to back so depending on the requirement you can increase the bubble shapes uh how much you need okay once this is done now you can see here uh which looks perfectly all right it looks like a kind of a pneumorphic design now let's add some text and some icons to it so i'm going to insert one rectangle uh, oval shape again hold the shift key all right and i'm going to put it here shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with white all right and hold the control shift key add it towards the on the right box as well then go to the insert icons I'm going to insert few icons here I mean two icons which is the right and the wrong or yes or no so this is the tick mark I'm going to choose insert it add one more icon 
and which is I'm going to say the wrong or incorrect yeah so these two icons I'm going to choose move it aside all right I'm going to make this as 0.6 and one graphic fill I'm going to fill this with green and graphics outline again I'm going to give green and increase the weight of this one so it looks more or kind of a bold and then put it exactly on top of this and then I'm going to select this one graphic fill I'm going to make it red and this is also red and then outline increase the outline and then put it in the center here if it is not center select both of these shapes go to the shape format align center align middle and press ctrl g to group it again select both of these again graphic format align center align middle and press ctrl g to group it and then you can go insert text here i'm going to say right option all right right option i'm just giving some text here or some title i'm going to use the font century gothic center align increase the size make it bold and put it here hold the control shift key add it towards this one and make sure that this is already center align and then you can go to the insert text box you can add detail text here again white century gothic center align and put the text here hold the control shift key bring it to the right side and then you can add two buttons so for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rounded corner rectangle draw a small round rounded corner rectangle and make it a curve shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to give a gradient fill for this one so gradient fill i would like to give this a kind of uh, orange and blue whatever you can see here whichever way but this one is not looking good so i'm going to go ahead with the old one and move it a little bit here all right and then you can give a kind of a small shadow effect to it okay so once this is done i'm going to insert and before that one i would like to drag this one here and this one you can just give a different color combination all right so maybe you can give for example i have given here yellow and dark yellow okay so i'm going to choose one which is some darker a gold color and one which is a lighter sorry my mistake i have to just select this one let me just do it once again and then here i'm going to make it light yellow all right and here also you can just change the same color i can use it so instead of yellow i can just go and this color i can give so it looks something like this so now the next thing which i'm going to do is insert the okay continue all right again i'm going to choose century gothic or any other font of your choice bold white center align increase the size hold the control shift key drag this one and this one i'm saying try again all right so you can see here the design is ready now if i show it looks something like this all right so again if you want to do further modifications you can do it on this this is completely editable template